Well, hey guys, and welcome to another episode of our Barney Family YouTube and Facebook. I'm right at the edge of the road here, so if a car comes flying past, you know, eh, don't worry about it. But as you can see behind us, we're back up in the Dava, where Loch and Dorb is. And obviously, we've been here a couple of times while camping, but we just really want to get one more wild camping done before the end of the year. And um, this is the perfect place to go. Because, oh, there's a van, two seconds. Um, the perfect place to go because we should get a cover from the, the wind where we're going to go. And also, guys, there's a castle out in the middle that I've said about twice now that we go out with a canoe. So we've got the canoe this time. Yeah, so as you can see off behind us there, guys, look at that. This is when you knew you are getting to Scottish country. You'll see all the heather down there and up and top. And here's Frank, look, he's all pitted out and ready to go. So we've got the canoe this time for going up to Loch and Dorm. Yeah, and this is our new trailer. And um, this is going to eventually be turned into what we're going to call a toy hauler. And the hope is that when we extend it up the way, we'll, we'll get the canoes through there. And then we're going to have a second roof tent up on top for me and mum. So that's the plan. But for now, guys, let's get going and we'll get up a walk and bar. So off we go. And if you've seen some of the previous lock and door stuff, guys, you know, you'll notice you'll recognise this road. Obviously, look a wee bit different. It was nice and sunny, I think, the last time, wasn't it? Yeah. But you'll hopefully just see over in the distance the Cairngorm Mountains. And that's where we were wild camping last time, weren't we? Yeah. There was no um, Emily with us that time as well, was there? No mummy. We've still not got mummy to come with us yet. So I'm going to probably do it if it's like scorching hot. Yeah. Remember when you got sunburned? Uh huh. That's probably the only time mum would want to go. That's very true. That's very true. Yeah, so we're just taking it easy on the road today because, you know, with the, the BF Gooders tyres, in this kind of road it can be quite slick at this time of year. And although it might look dull, it's actually 15 degrees. So we're just taking our time, aren't we? We don't want to end up in a ditch. Definitely not. It's an awesome road on the motorbike. When you're out on the motorbike on this road, it's just tremendous. I'll try one more of them before the year's out as well, actually. Just around the corner here. We are now entering the Highland region. So we're basically right on the edge, aren't we? Right on the border of Murray and the Highlands. I told you that we're getting a chippy from Gartland tonight, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Yeah, most of the here in Warren, so last time we came. 
it down here first, remember? Uh-huh. And then Emma decided to come. That's right. This yeah. isn't a place that we've been to at all. We've been here quite a lot. We'll have to pick some new spots next year. Uh-huh. But, in Scotland there's been a lot of problems with wild campers leaving rubbish everywhere. Uh -huh. And this has kind of made farmers start to lock gates. And I'm telling you, trying to find a wild compass spot is difficult. Like the places that we've been in the past are like the only places we can go. That's right. We'll find some places. Uh, it's just the usual guys, the, the, the few that spoil it for the many. Oh, it's windy out here today, look at this. Mm -hmm. It's coming this way. I think we'll try and get in about our original spot. So I'm not only going to get the Land Rover in, I've got to get this trailer in and try and figure out a really nice way of setting everything up. So that will take up a, an hour or two. But I've seen absolutely no cars yet. See that track that goes all the way up there? Mm -hmm. I did that when the Land Rover Discovery 3 first came out. I went up there and it a Frank Hogg Land Rover day. But I, doubt, I doubt the gates would be open for that. I got two sets of cards. You just have an extra set of everything. So I bet you yeah, this padlocked up look. Yeah. Those things were rarely ever padlocked up, they were just open. But again, a few that spoil it for the many, it's just the way of it. I don't think most people will come out in this weather, would they? Eh? We're idiots! Come on! And here we go, the usual Scottish sheep. Hello, sheep. Oh, look at them. They must be down to the lock for a drink, look. Hi, sheepies. And do you fancy a piece of lamb? No. No. They look very tasty. In Minecraft, it's called mutton. Now, you see at the other side of these trees here, you'll see the water's fairly flat. That's where we are going. And we should be covered at the spot we're going to get into. And it is the best spot, so I'm hoping nobody else is there. Also, seeing the right hand side, we take a Land Rover in there as well. In that water, it's about two feet deep. Get out there for a bit. Ah, it's fairly calm at our side, look. See, there's even tracks that go way off up there, and they're all blocked off now as well. You just, you just can't get anywhere these days. I got a t-shirt, oh. jumper, and then a jacket on. Look how flat the water is with us, Lake. Hey, did I tell you? Did I tell you? Look at that. Yay, nobody's in our spot. Right, we've got a tent with us this time as well for Jamie, so we have to think about that as well. Somebody's churned up our ground a little bit. We should be okay. Let's get. Oh, hi, Mr. Franco. Just gonna have to let the tree branch back over at the front. So, guys, as you can see, we're covered by the trees over there from Lock and Dorb House. And um, it's really nice and quite flat, calm. I could actually go out there and fish, actually, when I think about it. You could actually go out to the castle as well, but we'll see. Yeah, so not a lot of addition since the last video, guys. I mean, there's not actually, is there? One that had to change anything, really. Can't think of anything. But because this is the last time we'll be doing this wild camping, um, it's fine because I'll need to take all this out for the car's annual inspection with the garage. And um, obviously this is a seven-seater. They need to be able to get in and check the, the seats there. But young Davs is on it. Look at him. I got my shovel. Cool. I got my multi-tool. You got your multi-tool. Yeah, so let's see what Mummy's packed us. Look, beans. We've got hot dogs for David, obviously. They're always the favourite, guys. Pot noodle, nice and easy. Crisps, bits and pieces, sweet. And of course, bacon for the morning, which we'll keep in this bag here, as well as the treats, the slices. And hopefully, we'll have nice bacon sandwiches tomorrow morning. So that should be really good. Nice. Oh, that's hot. It is hot. So as per usual guys, 
Hot dogs, just make sure it's definitely on. No, it's gonna want to go that way. The pot, the hot dog king. Yeah, you don't want a bit of grass in there, do you? No. no. You got it, the boiler? It should take about three minutes. Usually about three minutes, isn't it? Right, so young David here is going to build a bridge, aren't you, son? And it's going to take us all the way out to the castle so that poor daddy doesn't have to canoe out there. But I think I'll be canoeing out there, guys, really, when I think about it. Yeah. Right, guys, so as you can see, we are now out on the boat on Loch and Dorb. We're finally doing our bit, aren't we, son? Yeah, because I've said so many times. Yeah. That is that. It's a wee bit windy. Yeah, so out to the castle we go. Hey, sunny boy. How's that, darling? Yeah, so you'll see the camp on our way back, you guys. But as you can see now, we're coming out past the tree line there. And it's starting to get a little bit, a little bit, watch yourself, son. Just it's starting to get a bit choppy going this way. Oh, can we get wet? We get wet. Yeah. Now, he hasn't been out to this castle and I don't know how long. A long time, eh, son? Looking absolutely beautiful. Not so, not so nice the way some of it. Well, a bit of wind and a bit of rain, but I'm sure we'll be fine. What's that, Dara? Your butt's not wet. Mine is. Now let's see if we can get onto the castle from this side here, eh, son? Yeah. So, guys, the Wolf of Badenoch, the guy that burned down the Elgin Cathedral. This was his pad, and this is where he came to hide and he'd done his dastardly deeds. Hey. Yeah, and of course, guys, it's, because of the location, it's very difficult for, um, like, historic Scotland or whoever's looking after it. Very difficult to maintain being out here. Yeah, so as you can see... Oh, sorry, David. It's a little bit farther than you think, isn't it? You think it's only so far out. Yeah. Now there's a harbour round at the other side, so we can go there if you want. Because that side, I can't remember if that side had fallen away before. No, now I think we're getting, I'll check to see if we can land over here. I think, I don't think we can. I think you have to go round to the harbour, but let's check. Now hopefully you can see guys, but there's a big crack on that wall right there, look. It goes all the way up. That's just been over time. So we'll just be careful around about that spot. Yeah, you see, I don't think we can. I don't think we can't, no. I'll tell you, we'll just go to the harbour, David. Well, there we go, you guys. What do you think? Obviously, we just had the turrets on the edges here, as you can see. I know. I can't see the bottom yet. So yeah, it is still quite deep here, son. How's that, eh? And the roof tent is about there. Very difficult to see, I'm shooting the action camera. Well, I'm not planning on getting marooned, son. Yeah, because look, it's even still quite deep here. Now you can start seeing the bottom, look. So we probably could go into there. But hopefully the old harbour Hopefully the old harbour is still there. Let's pull out a bit. Because it's just getting a bit shallower along this edge. Look at that big lovely old farm out there. Oh, that'll be the place, eh, son? Yeah, so like I said, it's very difficult indeed to be maintained, this place, guys. So it is coming apart. So it's more like a ruin than anything else. Yeah. I haven't done this in so long, but obviously we're now at the other side and there's no real wind, which is great. See the harbour, son? Just over on the left? 
Look how easy it is now. Yeah. Yeah. You can feel it now, baby. Like if you stay in there, son, I've got a wheat backside, but hey ho, I'm sure we'll survive. Ooh, got it. Two seconds like it over here. <sighs> How's that, son? Right, I'll hold it for you. You want to get out? Please don't get wet. There's no, there's, there's no point in getting wet, son. Just get uncomfortable. Right, guys, it's still very windy, so I'm going to try and cover up the mic and get up top. But look at this. Yeah, I'm surprised nobody is camping up here just now. Well, let's do corner to corner, eh, son? We'll go all the way around. We'll go all the way around. Yeah. We'll go this way first. Now guys, with these old castles that you come to, you have to be quite careful, you know, come, just have a quick look to see if everything's okay. Especially, see this corner here? Now bits could drop off of there. So you tend to sort of keep away from that. But you should be able to climb up there if you want, son. And look at this. So there's always a rounder turret at this side. A lovely old castle. Some people have had some fires up here, isn't there? Yeah, so, if you go up over here, you'll see that as a, a really nice view. You'll see guys, look, look uh, Lockendorf House where we're at, is there, and we're obviously just there. And up that way is up towards the fishing part. Yeah, so, down we come. So that's that corner done. Well, we call that the west corner, eh? Let's have a quick look up here as well, look. Now, again, Guys, just have a little loot. See that bit's dangerous now. I'm gonna actually knock that bit down actually, but let's have a look. Yeah. Nice, eh? So you can see we're at this side here, we're sheltered a bit from the wind. Which is good. Yeah, so just that little bit there. I think I'll just leave it actually. Oh, if I David's off that way. Yeah, so look at this, but I mean, this would have been an open bit of grass at some stage with this other buildings kind of along the edges. And obviously, guys, it's just a bastion. I mean, I don't think there'd be many crazy Scotsmen that would take on, take them on here, you know? Yeah. So underneath you, there's that's rock there, all the way around, you see? There's obviously a building here at some stage. Let's have a look. The world's biggest oven. Oh, so let's check this out. And down this side, obviously this would all be enclosed in. Now again, just a quick check, the tops. Just in case there's any, because look, all these have fallen down at some stage. Oh, and somebody's in a nice wee camp here, look. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, again, a lot of this is crumpled away up there. Oh, doubtful, son, doubtful. The wind's going the wrong way as well. Keep us if there's no wind. As I always say in this video, guys, I know what it's like to be housebound and hospital for a long period of time and stuff, you know, and this would be pretty much inaccessible for the people with disabilities. So just really hope you're enjoying, really hope you feel like you're a part of it. I'm speaking to you, you know. Because tell me, it's a lot of work getting out here, my age. <laughs> you sit there with your lovely cup of coffee. Let me do the hard work.
Yeah, now let's have a look. What have we got over here? Watch the foot in just in case. Yeah, this is the side that's fell down. Look, this this used to be the side here. And this wall would have continued on, I would have thought, and round. You see the dam? I wish we got a wee bit of sun for some photos. Right, onward McDuff. Yeah, so obviously there's a building in here, and you can see these parts going in there. That could have been steps, but you had those little open bits for beams. So this might have actually been a floor at some point. It's just hard to tell, you know. I don't even know if there's an artist's impression of this place. So, so again guys, just a, another bee building here for a climb up there would see over the top. Let's see if there's an easy way. Yeah, I think this is probably the best corner. Yeah, it looks like this is where the majority of the building part was, you know, or wherever he slept. And of course there would have been servants' quarters and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. So you can see according to that angle there, it was obviously up and has come down. It looks pretty cool. Everything looks okay up above. Well, stay to the right, David. Just stay, yeah, or even close to the middle is better, you know. Because there's a great big rock up top there, look. And there's two big rocks up there. Yeah, that's about as close as I want to explore that side. Obviously, guys, we've been coming up here since we were kids. So you can actually sort of see the deterioration over the years, can't you, son? Yes, as you can see up top, another bit there again. It's a bit more straighter. So obviously, these were quite a lot of rooms here. But I think a lot of that's been redone, you know that? They look, that looks quite new. So let's get in here. You think so? Yeah, now. Now this bit's a bit of a stack, but again, see if you, you see if you point out the holes, look, like that, as you go along. That would have been the main floor, and probably underneath would have been the servants' quarters. The, you know, the guys were really on the ground floor, as it were. You know, isn't that just beautiful, though, guys? Hey, I'm not even sure we could walk along the top of that, but. The only sort of concern that you have, guys, and I'm not a nervous Nelly, but the concern you have is, you know, we are actually quite remote as well. Breaking your leg or whatever is just not so good. Yeah, I could have went up and down and up and down and up and down. I think, guys, we'll just leave it. And we'll see that wall as we go back up anyway, won't we, David? We've been over there. We've been around there. So let's get back down to the harbour. Oh, nice, though. Nice. Somebody could. That'd be handy, wouldn't it? Right, let's see if we can get some pictures as we go down. Now, hopefully you'll see, guys, I forgot about that. I just saw it when we were coming down. But there's a little channel just straight ahead. We come in sideways. There's a little channel straight ahead like that. And it's actually quite deep in that, but I was hoping just to be welly high. Eh? Yeah. Oh, 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 that's so feet wet. Oh, yeah, don't worry about that. Should have extra everything. Uh huh. Why'd you bring an extra sock? Oh. Why'd you bring an extra pair of socks to the golf course? Why? In case you got a hole in one. Ah! You like it, son? Right, so. If we just backpedal out. Oh, it'll be nice in the summer. Way there we go. Aye. 
Right, see even that wall there, son? See how it's leaning at the top? It's not going straight up, that could come down. You see what I mean? So you don't go over to places like that. Right, let's get back, my boy. Uh, it'll take about 10 minutes. Because we're actually going into the wind this time as well. Once I got a bit of speed up though. It would. Yeah, this lock's actually too shallow for power boats. And there's the camp. I think he did keep the fire going actually. Yeah, oh, that's what I could see from the distance. Yeah, it's just gorgeous today. I don't really care what the weather's like. Actually, right. should be getting, should be getting close to the bottom now. Oh, you kept the fire going. That's good. And off they go, back out to the castle again. Yes, yeah, so it's just a bit of a breath of wind, not too bad. But I think we'll just keep the fire on. Yeah, we'll just keep the fire on for a while.